Now, we need to count back in tens from a four-digit number. So first, we have 6,143, then 6,133, 6,123. Next, 6,113, 6,103. But now, we need to subtract tens, but we don't have any tens in the number that we're subtracting from. So what we can do is exchange a hundred for ten tens. And then, when we subtract ten, we get 6,093. So, subtracting ten means that our hundreds digit has changed as well. And that's because we didn't have any tens in the number that we were subtracting from. So remember, the ones digit always stays the same. But if we ignore the ones digit, we have 614, 613, 612, 611, 610, 609. So subtracting 10 from a four digit number is just like subtracting one from a three digit number, but then with the ones digit always staying the same. And then we can continue counting back until we get to 6053. We can also show the counting using place value counters. So we start with 6143. We're counting back in tens, so we're subtracting 10 each time. But then, when we get to 6,103, we need to take our 100 and exchange it for 10 tens, so that we can continue subtracting tens until we get to 6,053. Now, we start with 7,055, so that's 7,000, no hundreds, five tens, and five ones. We're subtracting 10 each time, so we then have 7,045, 7,035, 7,025, 7,015, 7,005. But now we need to subtract 10 and we don't have any tens to subtract. We also don't have any hundreds to exchange. So that means our thousands digit this time is going to need to change as well. Because to subtract 10, we first need to exchange one of our thousands for ten hundreds, and then we can exchange one of those hundreds for ten tens. So if we subtract one of those tens, we get 6,995. And again, that makes sense because we know the number before 700, if we ignore our ones digit, the number before 700 is 699. So if we're counting back in tens, the number before 7,005 is 6,995. We were subtracting 10, but because we had zero in our tens and in our hundreds, we needed to subtract one from the thousands and give ourselves nine as our hundreds and tens place. Now we can continue counting back in tens until we get to 6,965. Again, we can show place value counters to show the counting. We start with seven thousands, no hundreds, five tens, and five ones. We can subtract tens until we get to seven thousand and five, but then to keep on subtracting tens, we need to change our thousands, exchange one of our thousands for ten hundreds, so that we can exchange one of those hundreds for ten tens. And then, when we subtract 10, we get 6,995. Remember, if we're counting back in tens, the ones digits will always stay the same. Then, we can continue subtracting tens until we get to 6,965.